Alberta is now in the subsidies game to try and attract investment to get jobs into the province. But the question to ask is, is this a good deal for provincial taxpayers? That's what we're about to find out as the Notley government moves ahead with a plan to provide incentives to two new large petrochemical facilities that will be built in the Edmonton area. Under a plan announced Monday, the Notley government will provide up to $500 million in royalty credits to two operations that will build plants to convert propane into higher value petrochemical products, propylene and polypropylene. These are used to create products such as plastics and will increase the value of the propane by about seven times. The incentives will create about 245 permanent jobs as well as about 4,000 jobs during the construction phase. The government says the incentives are needed because of the higher building costs in the province as well as the fact that incentives are offered in other jurisdictions on the U.S. Gulf Coast such as in Louisiana or Texas. Alberta is striving to create employment and diversify the economy. But is the price tag $500 million worth 245 jobs? Critics say incentives distort the economy, also cost the taxpayers money, and see the government try and pick winners and losers, often unsuccessfully. Alberta has a long history of such efforts dating back to Peter Lloyd in the 1970s offering incentives successfully to stimulate the ethane sector. But there's also a long track record of losses, such as investments that were made in companies like Magcan, Gainers and Novotel. The one thing we do know, however, is the cold, hard trade-off that now faces Albertans. We're trading subsidies to create jobs. For Inside Business, I'm Chris Farkle.